happy saturday yes and thank you for coming back to my channel deb chanel's 48th world again that is deb chanel's 48th world and welcome to the house tonight hope you all having a great saturday evening it's 10 10 p.m eastern standard time on the atlanta georgia time zone frame okay i'm here with you tonight for a couple of videos and um we're going to see what we can get through. I slept a lot today and I had to go out with my mom. Grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff that we do. And other running around that we also do. So I hope you all had a pleasant Saturday morning, afternoon, and evening. But yes, it's a family affair. Thank you for coming over. Lending me some of your time. Okay, whether it's 30 minutes, whether it's an hour, or I don't know, maybe you're going through my archives or videos. But please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos, okay? And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because without your support, all your communication you give me, I wouldn't be on the tube. Okay, so I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, love, love. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay, but let's get on into the story. We got Nene Leaks over here complaining. And Celebrity Insider done picked up and did an article on all her complaining. Now, of course, you know I slapped, uh, pulled back, snatched her OG, uh, self-appointed. Um, what she calls her, the queen? See, I don't forgot because she, she hadn't been giving me anything. And ever since I snatched that call, I, I don't look at her anymore as the OG, uh, her claim to fame, self-appointed queen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because she hadn't been solidifying herself lately. And with her coming on with all this doggone whining about they ain't showing the other cast members how they usually get down. I'm tired of it. Nah, you ain't tired of that. Probably two or three million they paying you an episode or for a season. Not an episode. Lord, she'd really be making bank, wouldn't she? But a season, okay. If the money getting, is the money running out, the money getting low, maybe you should downsize some of your assets, okay? I'm just saying, then you get paid of a hell of a lot of money just to come on this tube, a YouTube, or on our um, television screen, gracing us with your presence. You make a hell of a lot of money, and you whining about it. That's the true part about it. I'm like, that, that OGs don't whine, okay? They can see how they can get more into the revenue stream or sitting at that board table making major business moves instead of acting a fool out on them social media streets as well as on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, okay? You signed up to be pimped out, and they pimping you out, baby, with the rest of the crew as well. But, like I said, pick your poison. You either get a professional career, go out there and work 9 to 5, 8 to 3, 7 to 3, 7 to 2, banking hours, or you go into the industry of what we call entertainment. And you pretty much sign yourself away to them, and then they dictate, even though you're an independent contractor, they dictate to you what they need from you and if you're willing to do that because they're pressuring you don't get it mixed up don't get it twisted up you're at their bargaining table eating off them they making money off of you but they getting the major bigger checks and they giving you the residuals you know what i'm saying okay but, uh, wink, wink, wink. okay it's called on your own network getting involved and all this business and then again we see how bill cosby tried to do it and oprah Winfrey tried to do it and they shut them down okay but anyway, that's another story. We ain't going to get into that because that's not what we're here for. We're in here to talk about NeNe Leaks over there at the True Entertainment Bravo franchise, Housewives of Atlanta, co-star with the rest of her co-colleagues. She's over there saying she died. Let me give you what the article said. And who wrote the article? A uh, commentary or a journalist correspondent over there, Ricky Mathers. For Celebrity Insider, she titled her article, Nene Leak says there are things that happen behind the scenes that viewers don't get to see, and it's not fair. <laughs> I'm like, Nene, when did you start editing? Editing uh, what is being shown to the public and what is not being shown to the public. 
Only thing you have your right to do is go on your own social media platform and tell us what's the tea, girl. We'll be up there. I'll be taking my notes. I'll be scribbling everything. I'll be voice recording so I can get it straight, get it right. And then I put my own spin on it, my own perspectives and stuff. But see, you're not willing to come out there and tell us this, the tea. Now, and like I said, I guess they give y'all leeway to drop tea here and there because Candy knows she be doing it over there on her speak on it uh platform retube platform so yeah i know you've been on your um hold on guys excuse me jay i'm about to leave him out there since he wants to make all these noises okay i'm sorry about that guys where was that Oh, yeah. Candy on her speak on it. Uh, YouTube channel over there making, you know, headways and, and gathering and garnering support on her stories that she want to leak us. Kind of like on the side, not behind the scenes or in front of the scenes, just like on the side. They telling her how much she can spill and how much she can't spill to us. Okay, so don't get it twisted. She ain't going to wreck her paycheck either. Because that's those girls, those ladies over there, primary job. Okay, without the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they will not be seen as much on, um, what do you call it? Not, well, they'll be, so, they'll be on social media because they got their own uh, platforms, but just... Out there in the mainstream, the trending topics of the day, they wouldn't be nowhere. And I know some of y'all gonna, you know, get on me like, especially about Kenya Moore fans of Team Twitter, they're gonna be up here. Ooh, child, you don't know about her. She would this, she would that, she's this, she that. And, and that's all y'all wanna say about them. I'm like, before, before there was Real Housewives of Atlanta. We seen some of Kenya Moore's acting abilities and her skills, but they weren't really like being showcased. Like she had a particular spot on a regular show that we were seeing like every week or she's in residuals. I mean, she is somewhat on Martin, but we go to Martin, see Martin, not necessarily her. She just aired in a particular episode. And that's basically what she was doing was airing. Uh, these other businesses, you know what I'm saying? If she didn't have Real Housewives of Atlanta, we probably wouldn't know nothing about no Kenya more products. So she sure been passing it on the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta using their free promotion, that big platform that she gets to take all these trips and go everywhere and this, that, and the third. And I'm not jealous of her people. I'm just divvying out facts. You know what I'm saying? All of these women, that's why they don't want to go nowhere. You ask them where they want to go. Look at Nene. She went over there at Glee. Uh, been doing little stints here. Tried to be a host and a comedian in the comedian world and see how that worked out for her. She's not a comedian. Not really a host of much either. So I'm like, where is their claim to fame? None other than Real Housewives of Atlanta. Get it, got it good. You can spit it however you want to, but you send me a list that I can evaluate and tell me, oh, okay, yeah, I used to see Kenya Moore on this every week. She, you know, she solidified herself in the actor field. Oh, okay, yeah, yes, yeah, she did this. She got this brand going out there. I see this going all the time. She's advertising a lot. Okay, then you got a portion. Okay, and last time I saw Kenya was doing that Genuvia uh facial products makeup line i'm like mm. so she really don't came down and they, just, they wanted to introduce her to it because but that tasha k was doing it and another person i saw was doing it but okay jeffree star i think in the makeup line of youtube but okay and then you got portia she got her go naked hair and i don't care what nobody say i kind of like portia i don't like her ways when she's dealing with me and and and, and 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 taking cheaters back and not getting married. I mean, she's just doing everything all ass backwards. But I can't say one thing on Portia. She seemed to be a little bit humble. She humble about her stuff. She a grinder, you know, but she's very, I have never met her, but she seems like she's very approachable. And, um, you know, a fun loving person. That's all I get from her. But I'm like, I'm saying she's very humble. She know where her bread and butter is cut from. She ain't trying to do nothing because she's on two platforms. She's on a radio platform, and she's also on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, did Nene solidify a radio personality? So I'm like, Nene, stop all the whining you got going on because you are in the elderly. I ain't finna put you out the pasture or nothing, but you truly are a seasoned woman. So I'm like, stop going around here making waves and thinking you need to be, 
uh, shown on every scene and it's on your command and this, that, and the third. How did you get in there like Marlo say? Get in every scene you possibly can get in. Because I'm sure every time you get the tape, that's more cha-ching, 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 Money, 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 child. Put me on one of them shows. Uh, anybody come on, get me. Tell them not Delph Chanel wanna come over there if it ain't nothing but for a guest. You ain't I can just be sweeping the flow. I can be the maid. I can be uh the garçon or uh, waitressing, whatever you want me to be. I'm play my part and get that money, get the hell on. Okay, cause that's not my life. That's not my this is what I'm chosen or choosing to do at this particular time. You know, if they try to get me to come on a reality show, but you know, I don't know if they can handle me. <laughs> Because I wouldn't be taking nothing off nobody, okay? I'd be like, mm mm, let's just have a sidebar right here. I ain't got to be cussing you out using verbal words, but you can rest the shore. I've been on got you together, okay? But what I'm saying is, if they plan you, paying you for a particular role to play, just play the role. That's all you got to do. Just play the role. Go on to the bank, cash your checks, or if they direct deposit it, that's cool too. And go live your real life. Because don't nobody know your real life but the Lord upstairs and the people that you allow to be in your surroundings with the windows closed, the doors closed. You don't took all these cell phones and y'all can be, you know, buddies and, and comrades and comrades and you know whatever homies you know that you know you can kind of trust them but you know you sometimes you gotta take them phone pat them down see if they're wearing microphones and this that, that. so they don't get in on it. i'm just saying sometimes you have to be a little bit outlandish and a little bit over paranoid unless you want your stuff put it out in the street because like i said if you never tell it you never show it nobody would be the wiser okay only you and the lord only you and the lord all right but let's get on back into this article because i know i tear a lot and some people get on my platform and the comments and say why would you speed things up or why you talk so fast well let me tell you why i talk so fast i have to have my thoughts together real quick fast in a hurry is because we're on a time limit you guys i'm not saying all of y'all but i'm just making an example People don't want to hear a lot of rambling and running and all like that. So you have to kind of get cut it to the mustard and get it on. Now, your patient ones that you have, they're going to sit and watch your video from beginning to end. I love those kind. That's what I want y'all to start doing from the beginning to the end. Watch the video. I'm sure I'm doing something that's going to entertain you, okay, that you can put down in my comments and say, well, I ain't like this. I ain't like that. Well, what you know, what I going to do? I ain't going to change me. You know what I'm saying? So I suggest you change you. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. And but uh, seriously, when you, we're talking fast, or you find content creators on their channel and they kind of speeding things up, it's not because we just are, are we talk like that on a normal basis. It's because we are being taped, and we know the algorithm them pretty much showed us. Y'all give us five. Well, y'all give us two to five minutes of your time. And in the taping process, that may be 15 minutes for us. So we have to really hus rush the process to get what we need to say before you all get unentertained, bored, and y'all just skip the videos. Okay. And please watch those uh, ads they put in my um. Well, we caught my videos when they're rolling through. It don't take a little long. Just so I said, watch my videos when you got time. Don't be saying, you know, hidden thing every time the notification bell rings and you ain't got time. Because sometimes I go into my sidebars. I be talking off the subject for a minute because I be trying to make a point. At least I be thinking I be trying to make a point. Some people get it. Some people don't. Okay. And that's just it, what it is. I get it. I got it good. But what I'm saying is, um, Oh, see that damn, I love my train of thought. Just trying to talk to y'all real quick about why we do certain things or why I do certain things. Oh, okay, I got I got the, um, the thought back in my head. You know, like some people are like, why uh, you don't get to the point real quick? Hell, this ain't uh, get to the point. Get, get to the point. Get to the point. Get, get to the point. You remember that get to the point segment? I said, I can't watch myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 51 years old. I got to slow it down sometimes. And sometimes we want to talk to y'all a little bit longer than anticipated. And it just is how it is. So don't be telling me to get to the point. Y'all get some patience about yourself. That's all I'm saying. That's why I request. I put my request disclaimer out there from the beginning. When you got time. <coughs> see this <coughs> one dog in my mouth. Oh. Okay. 
But anyway, like I was saying, get to my videos when you got time to watch it from beginning to end. Or take it in small doses. You know, you can always go back to my video and pick up where you left off. Because uh, I know I do that on some of my uh, content creators that I watch. Sometimes I can't watch their full video if I'm driving in the car or if I'm, um, you know, cleaning up around the house and something else come on my phone and I have to check it or whatever. Or hell, it's just boring to me at the time. But I'm like, maybe it's just me. Maybe, you know, I have to read just what I'm doing. Because if I've got good content, I'm just not giving it a chance. So then the ones I just put on hold and come back to them, then I pick it back up when I got time. Because sometimes you can't rush greatness. It's just like a, a fine wine. You can't just, you know, prune the great stump on them and then taste them. No, they got to sit. They got to ferment. They got to do all that processing of slowness. So I just want to put that out there. Because, you know, I, I know y'all don't know a lot about YouTube. Well, some of you do if you have friends that are content creators. And um, they can just, you know, kind of tell you what really be going on behind the scenes and why a person might be acting a certain way. But that's my two ones that um, I seem to get a lot on my, you know, um, comment section. And another thing is, you know, don't come in there telling me how to run my show and shit. That'll get you in trouble, too. Because, I, you know, I'll be saying, watch, watch, you know, walk a thin line now with me. I love respect. I love you to comment because I think everybody's points are valid. Whether I agree with them or not, I, you know, it's neither here nor there. But I'm just saying. Uh, and some people say, you ain't got this skin. You can't. Yeah, I can. I can. Because I tell you, I set the tone on how I'm going to do things on my show. Now, if you don't like it, you know, don't waste your time. Please don't waste your time. If I ain't caught your attention, if I ain't entertained you within one second, click off of my video. Go somewhere else because we got a gazillion channels out there that's more, you know, appropriate. But y'all just feel like y'all got to give me that. A uh, slap in the face of a comment or whatever, and y'all gotta say, "Well, shoot, I cut off you. You tacky. You this. You that." I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You can add fat and, and what else? Uh, unattractive, whatever. Keep doing it, but I ain't watching nobody. I ain't finna comment on the nobody section. I'm just not gonna watch you no more. I'm just saying, okay. All right. I just had to clear that up so we can understand who you know. All right, I'm just saying, we, we, you know, okay, y'all understand, those who hear, hear, those who see, see. Okay, going back on to this article, I'm sorry, I teared a little bit too long now again, Ugh. I hate that too, but you know, bear with me, because I, I know I dropped some wisdom and, and knowledge down now for the people that got a fine edification on what I'm saying, but you know, for the ones that just got lost in the sauce, oh, I don't know what to tell you, honey, I don't think I can tell you, if you don't like me within them 60 seconds, cut me off, cut me off, cut me off, and go on your merry way, I ain't mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Because I know your time. You can't get back to your time. So, uh, I take that in consideration as well. But let's go back to the article. And try to stay close to the article. But, um, and it's content. But it's, uh, the title again was, um, uh, there are things, Nene Leak says, there are things happening behind the scenes. And she wants viewers to know about it. But see, Nene don't want to do the thing and get on her YouTube channel or her Instagram account and tell us about those things. So, of course, we're going to have to wait until they unfold. So, Nene, you're foul. And that's why I took your OG card, baby. Because you don't be putting shit out there just saying, when they, they doing this and, and they doing that. And, you know, this, that, and the third. Yeah, if you want to rat on Bravo Entertainment, go on and do it, honey. It's just make it better for you. I don't know if you have a job after that, but I'm just saying. We can probably make you the queen of the show again, but you know, I don't know. It's a family affair over him. We kind of get a little bit, you know, hmm. You know, we weigh the justice scale, we weigh the, the foolishness scale, and sometimes it don't come out in your favor, and you have to be put on the bench on my side. I'm just saying. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Nene Leakes has solidified her spot as head housewife in charge on real housewives of atlanta giving her the luxury of being able to come and go as she pleases according to a recent interview that she completed uh the broadway star may not return to season 13 now see <laughs> see there we go again she don't finish taping 12 and she worried about 13 nene don't worry about 13 13 is gonna come and go just like 14 15 16 17 18 i don't know how many seasons y'all gonna get okay but i'm hoping y'all get as many as you can so y'all can start banking your money because everything don't go on for always like they said it is an expiration date so instead of you keep building and buy well i won't say building but keep buying and buying and buying know that this show is not gonna go on forever so you need to be trying to get on other networks solidify yourself on other shows that are lucrative 
to the lifestyle that you have acquired yourself to be a part of. That's all I'm saying, Nina. Okay? And stop whining. All right? I did not expect for in season 12 for you to be whining about these ladies again. These ladies are much younger than you. And yet, you act like you ain't got nothing under your belt. And that's very disturbing to me, Nene. It's very disturbing, baby. Like I said now, I look at y'all as independent contractors. I don't look at y'all being friends. Uh, you might need to talk to Ann Cohen about trying to get you a seat at the board seat where he sits and makes these decisions. Since you feel like you are the queen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you bring in the majority of the viewers. And like I said, you know, who haven't you run across and got mad with and thrown under the bus? Remember Sheree Whitfield? You know you did and dog can't um Portia out. She was your baby sis and not you you okay, you see what I'm saying? Excuse me, then you had Kim Zoziak, you know. How you could you still wearing that blonde wig? Some shades are very flattering on you and I can get with it, but that one right there, no. Mm -mm. I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know what you're trying to say, Nene. But like I can say half the time you be kind of mimicking um Kim Zoziak's looks, even though you're a black woman, chocolate at that. But you try to mimic her look, her weird look. So I, I'm not really sure where you're going on with this. I like, see this one I can kind of take because it's two tone. And I like that. When you wear that straight blonde, like it's supposed to be on a Caucasian head, I got a problem with that because it just don't even look right on you. But like I said, whatever you like, it's, it's really what matters. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's what you feel about yourself and how you presented yourself to the public. And as far as your appearance, as far as your actions, your demeanor, you know, it just is what it is. Okay. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it said, um, Leaks feels as though that there are a lot of things that happen between the scenes that viewers don't get to see, which is unfair. Well, Nene, you know, life is unfair, baby. Ain't nothing given to you on a silver platter. Not when it comes to African Americans. Okay? We tend to have to work, 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 and then work it, work it, work. Okay? And then sometimes when we get our degrees and, and our accolades, sometimes people still see us as uh, limited or they still see us as low on the total pole. But that's society. Uh, that's the, the laws of this land. And the leaders that are up there doing this. Because racism has still been a thorn in our side. And that's not just for black people. It's for uh, other minorities as well. You've had racism out there. Discrimination. You have unfair rights when it comes to women in general. When they're trying to compete with this all male dominated sector of uh, careers. Like doctors, lawyers, uh, attorneys. You know, they, they think those are just men related jobs. And it's, it's not. You know, engineers, you know, the architects. So I can go on and on and on, but we ain't trying to get on this soap pop. But Nina, you got the award today for this particular interview that you did with Celebrity Insider. They did on you. You got the award of the most conceited person and narcissist that I've ever seen. This show is not yours, baby. Now, we, I got with you when you were saying you were the OG. But that was before... You walked out on Marlo Hampton. Okay, because right now I'm looking at her. So it's the replacement of you solidifying yourself, self-appointed OG, Real Housewives of Atlanta Queen. I'm pretty much looking at Marlo. Okay, because Marlo don't give a damn about who she get on. She know her revenue needs to be solidified. She know her mortgage got to be paid. She knows she, her lifestyle has got to stay where it is, if not elevate a little bit more. And she don't care about these women on this show. This is her job. She came to entertain. She came, she conquered, and she moved on. You see what I'm saying? And she ain't even got a peach. So I can't even fathom what Marlo really probably made. It would probably shock the shit out of some of us okay so i'm just saying nene don't think you cannot ever be replaced you can baby so get out of that humdrum type of idealistic thing you got going on in your mind okay none of us is sacred to have whatever we have it can be wrapped erased taken away from us at any given second so nene be humble that's all i'm saying be humble baby be humble because they ain't giving Marlo the opportunity to be seen on just about every episode. That's the first. That's the first now. 
So if they're trying to do this, I wouldn't be surprised if Marlon Hampton come up in 2020 and have her own peach. Okay? And then who do you think she gonna come after? You, Nene. You. Okay? And she's gonna solidify herself as the new OG. I'm just saying. Okay? But anyway, um, we going back and we see that, uh... Okay, uh, lots of reality stars, especially Bravolets, feel as though they are portrayed a certain way on TV that is different from how they are in real life. Well, some people have also said that you all like to call you all selves actor and actresses. When that's not a correct title, I will place on you all because this is really a scripted show. But yet you're supposed to give us some reality here and there. Because if we had to watch your life, I'm sure you would have some humdrum moments that wouldn't even be worth taping. Because it's just so, uh, what do you call it, uh, familiar. And... It, Watching people wash dishes or mopping the flow or fussing at their kids. You know, that's the everyday thing that occurs in everybody's household. That's too boring. Hell, we can do that ourselves. We can entertain ourselves with that mess if we wanted to, you know. Normal humdrum people would probably be a little bit more inviting and interesting than some of the housewives. If you try to get them to do the work, because half of them on, you know, Real Housewives, Atlanta, Potomac, and all these other ones, uh, New Jersey, uh, Beverly Hills, they act like they don't even know what a broom is and i'm like come on now <laughs> you didn't always have this money and we can go all the way back and pick up from season one and it can show us what y'all really were looking like because y'all didn't have a budget because they didn't know really uh was the uh, sitcom show was gonna last long enough or it was gonna garner a lot of support to even give y'all certain perks or, or put y'all on a certain budget for certain things like makeup um uh, trip expenses you know, other things, you know what I'm saying, rented cars for the day, because you probably didn't have a car to begin with worth showing, and they probably, like, leased you a, a, a car or a home or whatever, just to make it a little bit more appealing. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got something. But we also know, majority of y'all started out very meager on season one, probably struggling too, okay? But it just is what it is. So don't act like you ain't uh, had the opportunity to know what a mop is, what a broom is, what actually cooking is, okay? So, or uh, paying bills or me made, uh, how you call it, making ends meet, okay? So, that was just my sidebar. But going back into it, it says... Uh, Okay, in the current airing season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, the Glee alone feels like Cynthia Bailey has another side to her that is not being shown, which has contributed to their feud. Additionally, additionally, Nene is still beefing with Kenya Moore, who has come back to be a fan favorite. Well, I don't really think nobody ever lost their favoriteness or uh, love and loyalty to Kenya Moore. She just wasn't being seen, and she definitely tried to stay in the social media world with her platform showing us baby brickling all the time and herself and you know her comments ain't going so she never really went anywhere she just wasn't being shown on the show and Laura knows I don't know if that was a curse or a blessing for Candy and Senior to Cynthia to get her back on the show uh, after she fell miserably giving up her job for a man I'm like where do they do that at <laughs> Unless your husband is a king of some type of throne and, you know, he has all these many different businesses. I mean, he's like beyond Forbes, okay? Uh, magazine trying to tell you how much they make on a yearly basis, okay? He got to be like in the billions, trillions, gazillions for me to say I'm going to give up my job and just go um, totally on the whim that you're going to take care of me. Nah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But anyway, that's just me, okay? Because I didn't even do that with my ex-husband. I like, mm, he gave me the opportunity to be a housewife too, and I'm like, because mm -mm. <laughs> I know how men are. They be trying to be like, well, why you need this? You don't did. You don't got some last week, or oh, why you need to go there? Like, 
I've been working since I'm 15 years old. I ain't good at asking people, can I have, can I have? You know, I know I have asked people, you know, uh, with my family when I first got married and stuff of that. You know, just starting out on your own and things of that nature. And you kind of, you know, over budget yourself here and there. And then you really have to put yourself on budgets because you don't want to have to hear your family members' mouths about, well, why you ain't get this or what I told you. You know, all that kind of stuff when you're young, dumb, and having fun out there. And you want to play the boss. And don't forget that it costs. Uh, type of situation so I always got to have your dickens in a row I always had that emergency fund ready to be used because when you're out on your own or you're trying to do things that newlyweds it kind of can get a little daunting out there but anyway going back to the article my sidebar uh it says Hollywood Life asked leaks if season 12 would be her last to which she responded I don't know I really don't know that I never really know what I'm doing until the season is over and we talk about it I just think there's a lot of things that aren't fair just things that behind the scenes things that you guys don't get to see so I just have to talk with my team and decide what's best for me in the same interview Greg's wife revealed that Bravo may be changing a very problem that she mentioned I see kind of that they're starting to show a little bit of these other girls personalities because I have felt like over the years a lot of girls have given passes have been given passes for whatever reason maybe that's just wasn't a character they didn't want the viewers to see but this year i feel like they are showing these girls a little more true to who they are on the show it sounds like she may be hinting at the upcoming storyline where where bailey was recorded speaking negatively about nene but like i said you know nene and this whole thing about you concerned about how these girls are being shown and not shown that shouldn't even be your worry that should not even be your focus your focus is what they paid you for and however the people see you in the light or on the outside when you go out and do your interviews or you just out there in the public, you know, because we don't want to talk about that airport event, okay? You did that on your own. So is the apple falling from the tree that you could be portraying what you really are on camera, that you are on in real life? I'm just saying because you remember that airport incident when that girl tried to get that autograph and you was like, mm-mm. And then that photographer, you slammed his phone down. I'm just saying, girl. Don't look good. <laughs> so please don't try to paint this picture of yourself. Just be cool. Go in. We all know it's your job. You're supposed to give us the funk with a little funk funk on it. And those who can see won't judge you so hardly. They'll just say, okay, she's just trying to make her money. She got to, got to give us entertainment. But when you go outside and you ain't being filmed, you're just out there like every Blow Joe, every Jill Jane. And you act a fool and you don't want to be kind to your fans or followers or viewers of the show and they come up and recognize you and you don't want to do a little photo op with them you don't want to sign an autograph then you pretty much put that on yourself okay that's just showing us after the fact after the cameras are not rolling on you and you're just out there with the public and they just recognize you as a reality celebrity okay but also remember those are the people that keep that food on your table okay those are the ones that tune in to see you that pay homage to you or whatnot okay so i'm just saying girl don't don't bite the hand that bitch okay all right anyway that's all i got for this uh particular um episode i know i teared a little bit too long i know i I went to 32 minutes oh my lord so i'm just gonna say um just uh subscribe share like my comment subscribe 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 to my channel and i'll see y'all guys next video but put down in them comments what y'all about girl put down guys don't i don't forget my fellas i know y'all out there watching me i be seeing my algorithms so you know don't be scared of of Dev chanel okay y'all cuss me i cuss y'all it's our family affair we're get back and break bread again <laughs> i mean that's what you do in your real family right y'all first y'all don't agree but hey some things i say you agree with some things i you know it's just tip of the head you know but i'll see y'all next video Bye bye